Okay, in our last um, column of exercises, we are starting out with a few really easy ones here. These are modeling poly surfaces. So before we were pretty much trying to model just surfaces, which are, um, which are individual sort of um, hollow shapes. If I look at this and I go underneath it, you can see there's no cap on this. It's just uh, one single surface that's kind of flowing over this shape. It's not closed off, it's not solid. If we go over here, um, we have a few shapes and it says select both closed polylines, use the extrude command to create a solid that's one meter high. So let's select both of these and use EXT to extrude. We make sure that we have both sides set to no because we only want to extrude it to one side. And we make sure that solid is yes because we want to create a solid object. And now we just hit one for one meter and press enter. So now we have uh, a shape that has a hole in the middle. So when we select two closed polylines and extrude them, um, it will create the shape in between those two polylines. So there's other ways to create this. In fact, there's two other ways that we could create this identical shape. So this one says, extrude both polylines separately to one meter. Follow the directions in Boolean difference command. Okay, so let's first extrude this shape, EXT and let's um, bring it up to one meter. And then let's extrude this shape and bring it up to one meter. If you wanna not type in one meter, you can just match it up to the edge of the other uh, uh, solid that you've just drawn. So now we have, um, we actually have, I'm just gonna copy this down. We have two solids. We have this solid chunk here and we have this solid inner chunk here. Now, what is this Boolean difference command? Over here in the um, standard menu, we have a Boolean uh, menu and Booleans are operations that are meant to join or split solid poly surfaces. So we have a few different things um, within this menu. There is a Boolean union. This one is called Boolean difference. So that's the one we're looking for. We have Boolean intersection, Boolean split, and a whole bunch of other uh, editing tools down here. Let's go with Boolean difference. So it says select surfaces and poly surfaces to subtract from. Now, since we want to create a hole like this, then the surface that we want to subtract from would be this big surface here. So I'm going to press enter and then select surfaces or poly surfaces to subtract with. And I'm going to select this inner piece and press enter. And now you see that it uses the inner uh, poly surface to subtract from the outer poly surface and we end up with the exact same form as we did with the extrude command. But this can be helpful if you are trying to create complex um, shapes and you need to subtract something from something else to make it uh, work for you. Um, sometimes you can't extrude things, particularly when they're curved surfaces or spherical or curvilinear, and you might need to use Boolean difference in order to subtract something from that surface. Let's look at another way to do this. So select the outer polyline and extrude to one meter, and then use the command make hole to use the inner polyline to create a hole. So I'm going to use this and extrude it by one meter. And then I'm going to use the make hole command. We used that in a previous exercise. I'll select these uh, curves and press enter and select this poly surface as my uh, reference object and press enter. And now it says press enter to cut through objects. So I'm just gonna press enter. And again, we have done exactly the same shape, but just with a different method. Now we've just used another poly surface to make a hole through this object. So these are demonstrating three techniques, um, very powerful ways to edit and shape um, the forms that you're trying to create. Let's take a look at this one. This looks very easy. So it says we have a circle here and we have a profile. Use the profile curve to create a rounded fountain edge. Rotate the profile so it's vertical, align perpendicular to the edge of the circle, use sweep one to produce the fountain seating edge. So the first thing we need to do is rotate this uh, profile edge so that it is vertical in the Z direction. And I'm just gonna use my gumball to do that. So I'm holding down on the red um, rotational and I'm using shift to constrain 
uh, to a direction and as soon as I'm at 90 degrees um, I will just uh, stop rotating. So that's it, that's uh, done, that's rotated in the vertical direction. Um, now it says align perpendicular to the edge of the circle. So I can use the move command and move this edge here to the circle. So I'm just going to start by doing that. And if I move into the top view and I take a look at this uh, circle, I can see that right now this is not perpendicular to the circle. So what I have to do is use the rotate command to rotate this reference shape so that it's perpendicular to the circle. Now, um, it's a bit hard to do that, but I'm going to eyeball it um, so that it is perpendicular. Perpendicular means it's 90 degrees to a surface or a reference line. Um, what we really want to do is create a profile that can be uh, drawn all the way across along this circular edge to create a solid profile. So now we have that oriented relatively correctly and now we can use the sweep one to produce the fountain seating edge. So let's type in sweep and go to sweep one. I'll select the circle as my rail and I'll select the profile as my edge and press enter. And now it sweeps that profile all the way along the circle until we get this uniform concrete edge that we have here. So I'm going to press OK. And just as an added bonus, I'm just going to take this inner curve and use uh, surface from planar curves to create a central uh, water surface. And um, if I wanted to allocate that a color or a material, I could make a new layer called water and just change this color to blue. And now I know I have a concrete edge and a water inside, and I've just created a pretty nice fountain.